What's up guys and welcome back to this month's episode of Headphones Neil Reviews with my monthly recap of the various things going on at Knott's Berry Farm this year. So for this month I wanted to talk about the Not Scary Farm decorations. So as usual I don't usually have the time to go to Scary Farm so I check out some of the stuff that happens during the day. So I'm just going to go through some of the photos I took and some of the different things I saw versus what I saw last year. Um, there may be stuff that I may not have remembered, so um, with that being said, this is just stuff that I noticed this year that's different, new, exciting, interesting, and that sort of stuff. So to start it off, um, if you make a right immediately on entering and you head on over towards the Camp Snoopy direction, you'll see a new sign for the Gauntlet and um, Not Spooky Farm. So. Um, it actually says a uh, scary farm on the sign. And I just liked it because of the colors with the fall colors of the trees behind it, the sign, the orange and yellow and all of that. So it's a good photo opportunity when you're taking a look at that. Um, and then from here, that's really the bulk of it on that side. Um, if you're, if you have kids and it's good to take care of them on that side, but from here, if you go in the other direction towards Ghost Town, the first thing of note that's a little bit different is the spider by Calico River Rapids. So I actually particularly, I thought this was a particularly good note just cause I like the decorations, the egg sack and all of that. So definitely another good photo op if you want a picture in front of it wasn't expecting that i almost missed it um so when you're taking a look at it i definitely recommend um checking it out just because it's something a little bit unique and different for the area um and then when you're going through ghost town they just they have all the usual extra decorations for the 50th year of scary farm so the pumpkins and the cobwebs around um, the candy store or around the saloon as you're walking by some of the shops with all the pumpkins and things like that it's a good contrast with ghost town itself with the wood and the general outline of the buildings and then the orange of the pumpkins and the wheat and just the grains and the look and feel so definitely recommend checking that stuff out um, one of the things that you'll notice that's missing from this year um, is the skull on top of um, the log ride. So you just still do have the sign for Calico or for the Forsaken Lake, but there's no skull, so it does throw you off a little bit. Uh, reading around online on Facebook and forums, you do see things like they didn't want to focus on that. They wanted to do stuff that's new and different, but it does stand out because it is a particularly good touch on top of the log ride. And then, of course, the decorations in front of the Calico Saloon are nice. You have extra cobwebs and skeletons and things like that. When you're heading towards Fiesta Village, um, you do have things like a gargoyle in addition to some of the various um, structures that they have around on that uh, walkway. Um, you have extra pumpkins and things like that in front of Berry Tails. Um, and then you have things like the, a dog and his and a um, cowboy in front of a um, empty fire pit that are, that are just standing there. So, um, no, so just a nice decoration that I don't remember seeing before. Uh, another good photo op is the guy in the, the skeleton in front of the sombrero by the swings in Fiesta Village. So I thought that was nice with the colors and the contrast of the blue sky and the blue building and all of that. Uh, back in Ghost Town, you still have things like the sh guys with their shoot off and their standoff next to the graveyard. So I thought that was nice. And then the uh, carnival show that they have on the stage by the Calico Mine Ride. I like that just because it looks like decoration straight out of a... Uh, Poets of the Fall performance. So when you're looking at that, um, just a, it's a good setup there if you want another photo op for that. And that's really about it. I mean, there are you know, there is a um, skeleton wedding in Fiesta Village. That's a nice photo op. But with the restaurants and the table in that area, it's hard to get a good picture there. Um, and that's really about it. And then one of the things I did notice when I was 
um, writing on Silver Bullet was the decorations on the way. So when you when you exit Silver Bullet and you go you make a right and you go straight to Camp Snoopy, there's a nice decoration on the left with a gargoyle water fountain and a carriage and things like that that I thought was particularly nice. I don't know how we missed it first, but when you're on the ride, you can see it from above. So um, just a nice another photo op there if you want that, but. They're, they definitely are doing some nice and unusual decorations throughout the park for things like that. So I can only imagine how thing, how good the decorations are for um, Scary Farm. And then whether you're when you, whether you go when you um, before you go to the park or after when you visit Virginia's gift shop, they do have a lot of small um, knickknacks and decorations like for your desk if you want for that are um, Halloween related, so Elvira and a spaceship and. Just a little bit of nicks and nacks and things like that. So in the show notes for the episode, if you take a look at the link for the photo gallery, there's a couple of videos in there to dec- show the decorations at Virginia's Gift Shop, that gargoyle decoration, um, the decorations by Calico River Rapids, along with a lot of the different pictures that I talked about in this episode. But that's really about it. There's not a whole lot that's new, but a couple of different things that stand out. So... Um, definitely worth checking out. And then if you go, I think it's Tuesday to, or sorry, Thursday to Sunday, they have, um, spooky activities for the kids. So like decorations and things with pumpkins and things like that. If you're not much for the nighttime scary farm activities, there's definitely stuff during the day that go on mostly on the weekends, but also I guess Thursday and Friday as well. So that's all there is for this particular update. I just wanted to share some of that stuff so you guys can check it out and, um, kind of get a feel for what it looks like and kind of if you guys want to check it out then there's definitely a lot of different things to look at if you've never been there then it's a good first time experience for all the decorations that they put up so that's all there is for this particular update so if you have any questions comments feedback all the links to the social media sites are up on the website at headphonesneal.reviews and then a link will like i said will be in the show notes for the photo gallery and the video playlist for all podcasts and things like that so that's all there is for this particular episode and if i didn't mention the website is headphonesneal.reviews um, but that's all there is for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in.